Hi, this is Mark from Earthstar Astronomy, and this is how to do a two-star alignment using the SenScan handpiece. This is the same handpiece used on a variety of telescopes. Specifically, the most common one is the Skywatcher brand telescopes. First thing we want to do is set up the site that we're going to be at. This is the coordinates where your telescope's set up, which you can generally get either from the internet or using a lot of uh, iPhone or Android phone apps. I'm just going to enter the coordinates into this site. Now I'm north of, the, uh, of Perth, so you can see that's coordinates I'm sitting at the moment. Please make sure that you've got the east and south correct. If you don't have those correct and you just put the wrong coordinates in, uh, your alignment will not work. Uh, one of the most common things I see is having the uh, northern hemisphere uh, coordinates in instead of the southern hemisphere coordinates, which uh, does mess up the alignment. Next thing you want to set up is the time zone. We're in Perth, which is in uh, UTC plus 8. And then the date. That's actually uh, the wrong date, so I'm just going to move to the right date, which is today's date, which is the 4th of the 8th, 2017. You can see here it uses month, month, day, day, because this handpiece was developed in America, which is, that's the format they're using there. Next thing we want to set up is the time. It's currently 21.32 and 25 seconds. We want to make that as accurate as possible so that we can track the night sky a little bit better. Now you've got to set up daylight savings. In Perth, we don't have daylight savings, so we can just leave it as no. If you're in a uh, state with daylight savings, you're going to have to change that. Now we want to set up the alignment. What we've done is we've told the telescope where it is on the Earth. We've told the telescope uh, what the time is, so it knows what the sky should look like. Now we've got to tell it what direction it's pointing by choosing two stars in the night sky. Now you can do a single star alignment, however I find that the two star alignment just gives you a slightly better tracking and finding slightly better finding compatibilities. So I'm going to begin this alignment and move to two star alignment. Now the trick with two star alignment is you've got to be able to know where that first star is to be able to find it in the night sky. So you're trying to find a object which is really easy to find, such as Alpha Centauri, which is a bright star, the closest star system to our Earth. Uh, and it's just near the Southern Cross, so it's normally a pretty easy one to find. Now I'm going to press Enter. Now I've got to slew the telescope using the direction buttons to find that uh, object in the night sky, that star. And you can hear the telescope moving until I can see that object in my finder scope. Once I've got to that stage, I can press Enter. And now it's in the finder scope, I now want to align it so it's looking directly in the center of my main eyepiece on my telescope. What this uh, has done is it's actually slowed down the uh, telescope so that it's moving much slower. So you can center it in your eyepiece nice and easily. Once it's centered, you can press enter and we've got to find the second star. Now the second star, the telescope is going to try and find itself or get close to itself, but we'll still choose a nice easy one in the night sky, such as say Antares, which is a bright red star in uh, the constellation of Scorpio. Now you can hear that the telescope is going to go and try and find it itself. It may take a little bit of time to screw all the way around, and it's going to get to the stage where it's nice and close. Now it's very unlikely it's going to be looking directly at the star, but it's going to be thereabouts. Now from then on you can use your finder and your eyepiece to try and get it exactly central in the eyepiece. If you find it's a bit slow, you can speed up the telescope by pressing the rate button and then changing it to a faster speed. But once you've got that lined up, you press enter again, and you've got your alignment successful. Now you're good to start moving using the handpiece to find objects in the night sky, such as the planets, nebula, and galaxies. Thanks for watching.